What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Learn Japanese from Some Guy. In today's video, we are going to look at part two of my little series on describing how things look, sound, and seem. Uh, in part one, we looked at how to describe things in a positive way. Uh, in this video, in part two, we're going to look at how to describe uh, things that do not look or do not sound or not seem a certain way. So um, this structure is a little bit more difficult than what we saw before, but nothing that we can't handle, I'm sure. And just like before, we're going to start by taking a look at how to use the structure with our E adjectives. And the conjugation um, can basically be done in, in three steps, broken down into, into three steps. So first, uh, we're just going to conjugate the E adjective to its nigh form. So hopefully you, sh you don't have any problems with that by now. So conjugate to the nigh form, drop nigh, and simply add nasa sol. Okay, so conjugate to the nigh form, drop nigh, and add nasa sol. And that's it. So we'll look at some examples to make it a little more clear. So here we have our E adjective, takai. So of course the, the nigh form is takaku nai. We drop nai, add nasa sol, and get Takaku nasaso. So something does not seem high or does not look expensive. Next we have omoi. And the nai form is of course omoku nai. So not heavy. So we drop nai and we get omoku nasaso. Does not look or does not seem heavy. Next we have muzukashi. Muzukashiku nai. Muzukashiku nasaso. Does not seem difficult. Yasui. Yasuku nai. Yasuku nasaso. Samui. Samukunai, samukunasaso. And the last one, tanoshi, tanoshkunai, tanoshkunasaso. So it does not seem, does not look, does not sound fun. Okay, so that's it. Drop, conjugate the E adjective to the nai form. Drop nai and add nasaso, nasaso. Okay, so now we're going to try some on your own. We have just five E adjectives. So in this first column, conjugate them to the nai form. And then in this last column, the nasaso form. And remember, you can go to my homepage, learnjapanesefromsomeguy.com, and you can download the PDF that has these problems on them, so you can just print them out and write. Uh, but anyway, so you can do that. And now uh, let's check our answers. All right, so number one, we have yasashi. So we get yasashikunai. Yasashikunasaso. Number two, atsui. Atsukunai. Atsukunasaso. Does not seem hot. Number three, itai. Itakunai. Itaku nasaso. Number four, karui. Karukunai. Karukunasaso. And the last one, number five, kurai. Kurakunai. Kurakunasaso. So that's it. So hopefully you're able to answer those without any problems. And now we'll look at some example sentences using our E adjectives. So number one, Kono eiga wa anmari omoshiroku nasaso desu. Kono eiga wa Ammari omoshiroku nasaso desu. So this movie does not seem very interesting, does not look very good. So we have omoshiroi, omoshiroku nasaso. Number two, soto wa samuku nasaso datta kara han sode de ie o demashita. Soto wa samuku nasaso datta kara han sode de ie o demashita. So it didn't look cold outside. Samuku nasaso datta. Didn't look cold. So we have the past tense, right? Samuku nasaso datta. Didn't look cold. So I wore a half sleeve han sode t shirt outside. Number three, Kono ude doke wa takaku nasa so desu ga shaku maen datta yo. Kono ude doke wa takaku nasa so desu ga shaku maen datta yo. So this watch doesn't look expensive, takaku nasa so desu ga, but it was a million yen. Number four, Saka wa tanosku nasa so datta no de. テニス部に入ることにしました。サッカーは楽しくなさそうだったので、テニス部に入ることにしました。So soccer, soccer didn't look fun. たのしくなさそうだった. Didn't seem very fun, so I joined the tennis club. テニス部. And number five, last one. 彼女の荷物は小さいから重くなさそうだけど、僕は持ち上げられないです。彼女の荷物は小さいから そう、重くなさそう。So, doesn't seem heavy. Her luggage is small, so it doesn't look heavy or seem heavy, but I can't lift it. All right, so now that we've looked at some sentences, we'll try some practice problems. So we're just going to rewrite the following sentences to have uh, basically the opposite meaning. So if we look at the example, it says, you know, 
暑い、あ、しゅ、しゅせい。これは暑そうです。So, the example, the answer would be, これは暑くなさそうです。So, we have、uh, the affirmative sentence, so we're just going to make the negative sentence. So,、uh, remember, you can go to the homepage and download, print these out. But、uh, here are the first three. So, fill in the blanks. So, these sentences have the opposite meaning. And then here we have four and five. Answer those. And now we'll check. All right, so number one, we have, それは美味しそうです。So you'd get, それは美味しくなさそうです。Number two, 彼は優しそうです。So you get, 彼は優しくなさそうです。Number three, 彼女は眠そうです。彼女は眠くなさそう。眠くなさそうです。Number four, あの本は面白,面白そうです。あの本は面白くなさそうです。And number five, これは難しそうです。これは難しくなさそうです。So this doesn't seem very hard. So now that we are done with that, we can go on to our na adjectives. So、um, this time around, the na adjectives aren't as straightforward as they were with the affirmative sentences.、Uh, again, we have three steps to, to conjugate them to the negative form、uh, that we're using. So we basically Uh, conjugate the na adjective, na adjective to its na form, drop na, and just add na sa so. So, very similar to what we, what we just did. So, we'll look at some examples. So, we have kantan, kantan de wa na. Kantan de wa na sa so. So, remember the na form of a na adjective would be de wa na. Kantan, kantan de wa na. Hima, hima de wa na. Drop na. Hima de wa na sa so. Doesn't seem free. Doesn't seem, seems busy. Uh, 大切、大切ではない。大切ではなさそう。does not appear important. And 安全、安全ではない。安全ではなさそう。does not seem, does not appear to be, does not look safe. 安全ではなさそう。Okay, so、uh, again, we'll practice a little bit. We have the nai form and the なさそう form with our na adjectives. So、uh, fill in the blanks here. And pause the video, fill in the blanks here. And now we'll check. All right, so number one, we have taihen. Taihen de wa nai. Taihen de wa nasa so. Number two, kire. Kire de wa nai. Kire de wa nasa so. So here we have, of course, the、uh, kanji form of kire.、Uh, so most people will not write it out this way.、Uh, you can just use the hiragana, whichever one, but this is what it looks like in, in kanji.、Uh, number three, shizuka. Shizuka de wa nai. Shizuka de wa nasa so. Does not seem quiet. Number four, 元気、元気ではない。元気ではなさそう。And number five, 便利、便利ではない。便利ではなさそう。Does not look, does not seem very convenient. All right, so、uh, now we'll look at some example sentences using our na adjectives. Number one, ネットで見たけど、ネットで見たけど、その国の景色は綺麗ではなさそうだ。ネットで見たけど、その国の景色は綺麗ではなさそうだ。I looked it up on the internet, netto. But that country's landscape, keshiki, did not seem very beautiful. Kire de wa nasa so. Number two, hiking trail A wa taihen de wa nasa so des. Sorry ni s h i o Hiking trail A wa taihen de wa nasa so. Taihen de wa nasa so des. Sorry ni s h i o So hiking trail A does not seem hard. Taihen de wa nasa so. Does not seem difficult. Let's do that one. Let's hike that one. Number three, この車はかっこいいけど便利ではなさそうです。大きすぎる。この車はかっこいいけど便利ではなさそうです。大きすぎる。So that car looks cool. The car is cool, but doesn't seem very convenient. It's too big. Number four, 田中選手は元気ではなさそうです。彼は疲れているかな田中選手は元気ではなさそうです。彼は疲れているかな So, Tanaka Senshu. So, you all probably know, you know, San, Chan, Kun to add to people's names. But when we are talking about an athlete, we use Senshu. Tanaka Senshu. So, we can just look at this, Tanaka Senshu, and see that Tanaka is an athlete of some kind, a boxer or a basketball player. So, Genki de wa nasa so does not look very energetic, does not look to be in good health. And the last one, number five. Kore wa kodomo muke no game da ke do, kantan de wa nasa so desu. 他のゲームを勝った方がいいと思います。これは
子供向けのゲームだけど、簡単ではなさそうです。他のゲームを買った方がいいと思います。So this is a game for children, but it doesn't look very easy, so I think you should buy another one. 簡単ではなさそう。It doesn't seem easy. Maybe it's a little complicated for, for kids. All right, now that we are done with our adjectives,、uh, we're going to finish off with our verbs. And actually,、um, conjugating verbs to the nasa so form or the、uh, negative, you know, doesn't seem, doesn't look, doesn't sound, is, is quite easy.、Um, all we have to do is instead of append so to the mas stem of our verb, we're just going to append, append so mo nai. So we get something like doesn't seem to be. So here's an example we have ame ga. Furiso des. So we learned before. So it looks like it's going to rain. Furiso. So the verb is furu. And of course, the mas form is furimas. And the mas stem would be furi. We add so and get furiso. Looks like it's going to rain. But if we want to say it doesn't look like it's going to rain, we can say ame ga furiso mo nai des. So we just add mo nai to the so form. Furiso mo nai. Doesn't look like it's going to rain. And so that's, that's it. Conjugate a verb to the ma stem and append so mo nai. That's it. So here we'll look at some, some examples.、Uh, we have our verb, so shinu, shinimas, drop mas, and we get shini so mo nai. Doesn't seem like going, it's going to die. Naku, nakimas, drop mas and add so mo nai and get naki so mo nai. Ochiru, ochimas, ochi so mo nai. Katsu, kachimas, kachi so mo nai. And suru, shimas, shiso mo nai. So again, type two, type one, type three verbs, it's all the same. Conjugate to the mas form, drop mas, and add so mo nai. Shini so mo nai, naki so mo nai. Okay, so we'll try some on our own. We have、uh, six this time. So pause the video, fill in the blanks with the mas form and then the so mo nai form. All right, so now、uh, let's check our answers. All right, so number one, we have taberu. Tabimas, tabeso mo nai. Dekiru, dekimas, dekiso mo nai. Yomu, yomimas, yomiso mo nai. Kotaeru, kotaimas, kotaiso mo nai. Kao, kaimas, kaiso mo nai. Hashiru, hashirimas, hashiriso mo nai. So that's it. Conjugate to the mas form, drop, you know, get the mas stem and add so mo nai. Tabe so mo nai, deki so mo nai, yomi so mo nai. All right, so now we'll look at some example sentences、uh, using our verbs, which will be highlighted in purple. So, number one, Uchi no wan chan wa kono esa o tabe so mo nai des. Uchi no wan chan wa kono esa o tabe so mo nai des. So, it doesn't look like my dog will eat this food. So, here we have wan chan. So, that's a, a kind of like a colloquial. Cute way to say dog. When a dog barks in Japanese, it doesn't say bark or woof, it says wan. So, wan chan means a, a dog or, or a puppy. Wan chan.、Uh, number two, watashi wa hitori de kono project wo deki so mo nai des. Dare ka taskete kudasai. Watashi wa hitori de kono project wo deki so mo nai des. Dare ka taskete kudasai. So, it doesn't look like I'll be able to do this project by myself. Deki so mo nai. Someone please help me. Taskete kudasai. Number three, kare wa shingun wo yome so mo nai des. Kare wa shingun wo yome so mo nai des. So here we have the potential form of our verb yomu. So we have yome mas, which means to be able to read. So we can, we aren't just stuck with using like the present, you know, regular form. We can also use the potential form. So yome so mo nai. Doesn't look like someone or he will be able to read. Yome so mo nai.、Uh, number four, dare mo kono mondai ni kotai so mo nai des. So it doesn't look like anyone will be able or anyone will answer this problem. It's too hard. So this is a very important point right here. We don't say So this will probably be on like a, a JLPT test for sure. So try to remember that. And let's see, we've got a couple more. Number five. Yuki ga furiso mo nai des. Yuki ga furiso mo nai des. It doesn't look like it's going to snow. Furiso mo nai. Number six. Binbo na kare wa kore wo kaiso mo nai des. Binbo na kare wa kore wo kaiso mo nai des. So it doesn't look like he has much money, so he probably won't buy this. 
bimbo means poor. Number seven, ashi o kegashita ko wa hashirare sou mo nai desu. Ashi o kegashita ko wa hashirare sou mo nai desu. So again, we have the potential form hashirare ru. So we have hashiru, hashirare ru. Hashirare sou mo nai. Doesn't look like he can run because he hurt his foot. All right, and that's going to do it. Now we're going to take what we learned in part one and what we learned in this video and try and answer some, some practice problems. So we're going to do a little translation. We're going to translate the following sentences into Japanese uh, using the words and parentheses to help you know guide or give us a hint. So for example, we have chess looks interesting. So chessu, chessu wa, and we have omoshiroi for the adjective. Chess wa omoshiro so desu. Chess looks interesting. So now we'll try some on our own. Remember, you can print these out on my homepage or you just write them down, whatever, but be sure to write them down. It's very, very important. So here you have numbers one, two, three, and four. There are quite a few. So pause the video, answer these. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's try nine and 10. Eleven to thirteen, and the last one, fourteen. All right, so now let's check our answers. All right, so number one, we have that looks fun. Misore wa tanoshiso desu. Number two, he sounds sad. Kare wa kanashiso desu. Number three, this does not look spicy. Kore wa Karaku nasa so desu. Kore wa karaku nasa so desu. Number four, rugby looks painful. Rugby wa ita so desu. Number five, golf does not look painful. Golfu wa itaku nasa so desu. Number six, this chair looks sturdy. Kono isu wa joubu so desu. Number seven, that sounds terrible. Sore wa taihen so desu. Number eight, it looks like it's going to snow. Yuki ga furi so desu. Yuki ga furi so desu. Number nine, it doesn't look like it's going to snow. Yuki ga furi so mo nai desu. Yuki ga furi so mo nai desu. And number ten, the baby looks like it's going to cry. Aka chan wa naki so desu. Aka chan wa naki so desu. Number eleven, Tokyo does not seem very quiet. Tokyo wa shizuka de wa nasa so desu. Tokyo wa shizuka de wa nasa so desu. And number 12, that does not look fun. Sore wa tanoshiku nasa so desu. Sore wa tanoshiku, na, tanoshiku nasa so desu. Number 13, Japanese seems easy. Nihongo wa kantan so desu. Nihongo wa kantan so desu. And the last one, number 14, English does not seem easy. Eigo wa kantan de wa nasa so desu. Eigo wa kantan de wa nasa so desu. And that's it. So, uh, we learned a lot in this part and also in this chapter. So um, let's review what we learned. Uh, we learned that we can use so in conjunction with adjectives and verbs to describe how something looks, sounds, seems, or appears to be. Uh, we use to use so with our e adjectives. We simply drop the trailing e and add so. Samu so, ita so. Uh, to use so with our na adjectives, we just append so to the Adjective as it is, kantan so, benri so, taihen so. Uh, to use so with our verbs, we simply append so to the, mas, to the verbs mas stem, tabe so, naki so. Uh, to use so with the nai form of our adjectives, we drop nai and add nasa so, atsuku nasa so, samoku, samuku nasa so. Uh, to use so with the nai form of our nai adjectives, we need to replace de wa nai with de, de wa nasa so. Uh, to use so with the nai form of our verbs, we append so mo nai to the verbs mas stem, uh, tabe so mo nai, furi so mo nai. And we do not use so in conjunction with, with nouns. And that's it for that. So next, next time we'll look at chapter 50 and we'll learn how to use while. So we'll learn how to say things like while studying, I listened to music, or I was eating dinner while writing the report or whatever so doing two actions at the same time so definitely a very very useful uh structure and and pretty easy so uh we'll take a look at that next time uh as always thank you guys very very much for watching uh and thank you to everyone who's uh liking and who has subscribed and 
you know, asking questions, comments. I really appreciate them. I read them all and I always try to answer uh, whenever I can. So thank you guys very much. And also be sure to tell a friend, anyone you know who wants to study Japanese, uh, you know, I'd be very you know, happy or you know, appreciative if you, if you let them know about my videos. But uh, anyway, that's it for this one. And uh, we'll see you next time. Chapter 50. Matane.